What is up guys, in today's video, I wanna talk about one of my new favorite big fish baits. If I'm looking for a big bite, I think this is what I'm gonna throw uh, basically any time. I mean, it's such a good bait. Like I was just introduced to this like last year, but I'm talking about a very specific bait here. As you guys could tell by the title, the thumbnail, and what I'm holding in my hand, I'm talking about a swim bait. So this is a Zoom Swimmer. It's a five inch zoom swimmer. It comes in a package that looks like this. You guys have to go pick some up if you haven't picked up any yet. If you've never fished this bait, I highly recommend it. I think it's just such a great bait. Now there's a lot of other, this is a hollow body swim bait, um, meaning that it's hollow, but that gives it way more action than your traditional like Kitex swim bait. I'm just going to talk all about this bait in today's video, how I fish it, give you guys some tips on how I, or some tips that I've figured out uh, whenever fishing this bait and just like the colors I like and everything like that. So first of all, you can tell I'm a little OCD. I pulled off the eyes of the swim bait because the jig head has eyes, but this is a VMC swim bait head. Now, I really like the VMC swim bait head. I think it looks realistic. They are a little bit um, more expensive than if you were to just get somebody to make some lead swim bait jig heads for you and stuff like that. And that works fine. You don't have to get a painted uh, swim bait jig head that looks like this or anything. It doesn't have to be fancy. You can just get a traditional ball head jig and that works fine. Um, this jig head I figured out works great on this bait. It really gives it a lot of wobble. I think it gives it more like wobble than a ball head does. It just depends on what you want your bait to look like going through the water. But essentially this is a five inch zoom swimmer. Like I said, it's a hollow body. My favorite color, and I gotta say probably the color that I've used the most is the Tennessee shad color. It's just like a traditional shad color. It's got some gray on top. Um, I don't think that it's got some gray on top. It's got some uh, white glitter in it and it's just pretty much white all along the body. A little bit of shades of gray and it's got a tiny little shade of pink and I really like that. Got some fish jumping up behind me. Anyway, I really like a little, a little hinge of pink on my swim baits. I think it looks really good. I really like the pro blue red pearl color uh, for Kitex and this is a lot like that. So this jig head specifically is a three-fourths ounce. So it's a pretty big guy. I mean, this ain't no small little jig head. I like to fish it on three-fourths ounce because I'm mainly fishing this bait deep. But I figured out that you can catch fish both deep and shallow with this bait. Just You just have to vary your retrieve or change your jig head up. So I think the, the three-fourths ounce VMC jig head uh, and I'll link all of this gear down below in the description if you want to go check it out because it really does matter. You don't want to put a tiny little jig head on this swim bait or else you're not going to have good hookups. So if you do go with a lighter weight jig head, make sure that the hook is big enough in order for you to catch the fish on because if it's too small, you're going to be missing a lot of bites. But I'm pretty much always fishing this on the 3 4 ounce or half ounce uh, VMC jig head. The half ounce works great, the three fourths ounce works great. Uh, I really just, it really just depends on how deep I'm fishing. Like I said, you can fish this even in shallow water. You just gotta reel it a little bit faster. And that's what I do. I mean, I catch myself reeling way too fast anyway, but sometimes you can really make those fish react to it. This bait is just so great. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I was introduced to this last year as primarily like an offshore big bass bait. Uh, fishing out in deep water, but I've kind of varied it a little bit, kind of tried it out in more shallow water because a lot of the lakes around where we fish, it's not like Florida or Texas where, you know, those lakes aren't really, really deep. I live in the mountains, so uh, a lot of the lakes are clear, a lot of the lakes are really deep, and so they have like really steep drop offs. And this bait is great because you can vary your retrieve and change the depth at which your bait is going. So you can fish this thing in like 30 feet if you throw it out and just let it sink and reel really slow. Or you can fish it in three foot if you're reeling really fast. So it's a very versatile bait and you can fish this bait almost any time of year and you're gonna get big bites. Uh, you are. Basically every fish I've caught on this has been over two and a half pounds, which I think is a good size fish. And it's also good because a two and a half pound 
fish is not the biggest fish but it's going to get you a lot more quality bites than like a drop shot or something like that but at the same time it's not so big it's not such a big bait like it's not like a huge eight to ten inch swim bait where you're not going to be catching uh, the fish that are like two and a half pounds. So I think this would be a great bait uh, for like tournament fishing. I don't do a lot of that myself, um, but I think that you could catch a lot of fish in a tournament with this bait or really, you know, upsize your bag using a little bit bigger of a bait, but not too big as to where you're not going to catch any fish. So I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about the gear as well. So I'm fishing this bait on a seven foot four heavy rod. I like a stiffer rod for this bait because like I said, you're going to get some big bites on it. It's just a single hook bait, so you're want, you're going to want to set the hook like in a sweeping motion. That's kind of how I set the hook on these things. I don't jack it like a jig or anything, but um, I just kind of sweep into them. But you want a stiffer rod in order to make sure you keep that fish pinned and get a good hook set. And again, I will link all this down in the description below, so don't worry. If you want the exact gear I'm using, just go check out that stuff in the link in the description below, and you can pick up all this stuff on Amazon, the exact gear that I'm using. This is a Abu Garcia Revo S reel. It's a pretty fast gear ratio reel. It's a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio reel. I love a 7 to 1 um, gear ratio reel for pretty much everything, and I think that swim baits are no different. Sometimes I want to reel this thing a little bit faster. Sometimes I want to reel it a little bit slower, and 7 to 1 is a good, versatile gear ratio. And line, I'm actually fishing this on 15 pound test fluorocarbon. I like fluorocarbon for swim baits, especially paddle tail swim baits. Fluorocarbon's gonna be great, it has less stretch. It has less stretch than monofilament. It lasts longer than monofilament from what I've found. And also the fish can't see it as well as monofilament. So fluorocarbon is just a great uh, line. I would recommend anywhere between 15 to 20 pound test, depending on what you're working with. Like if you're fishing some deep rocks, you may want a little bit heavier of line you may ask why do i say heavier line for that is because if you're fishing deep rocks then you want offshore rocks then you're going to want something that is a little bit more abrasion resistant something that's not going to break as easy coming through all them rocks especially if you're letting it sink all the way to the bottom i primarily fish this bait on a jig head that's how i like it now i'm at a pond right now this is not set up for ponds uh, if i wanted to fish this bait in this pond I would probably uh, put a swim bait hook on it and just kind of reel it slow because it's so shallow. But you can fish this thing weedless on a swim bait hook. That works too. I could. That's what I would pr prefer for like a little pond like this. But I'm primarily talking about fishing this bait on big lakes um, in open water, not fishing it around heavy cover or anything like that. So what I do with this bait, I know, like I said, I. I, ha I don't have this bait set up for pond fishing, but that doesn't mean I can't fish it in this pond. So um, you're really just going to cast it out, and I'm not going to let it sink very far right now. I'm, I'm just going to kind of reel it in fast because I don't want to get it hung up. But you're going to throw it out, and you're just going to reel it in. I mean, it's pretty simple. Sometimes I'll go crazy with it and give it a little, like, I guess what I would call, like, pulses. Not really... Uh, just kind of give it a little twitches on the way back in. You're not going to give it a ton of action like a jerk bait or something like that. You're primarily going to be reeling the bait in, not uh, twitching it in. So that's pretty much what I do. And just a straight retrieve works well from what I've found. That's where how I've caught most of my fish. And sometimes just casting it out, reeling it a little bit and stopping it, reeling it a little bit and stopping it works great. And not only does that motion work great, but it lets that bait get a little bit deeper, it lets it come back up, and it varies where it's at in the water column, so you'll get to put that bait in front of a lot more fish. So that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video. Please go try this technique if you haven't already. I'm a huge advocate for paddle tail swim baits. I think they're phenomenal baits. Um, and these hollow body zoom swim baits, I hadn't fished them much. They're a little pricey, but I think they're worth it. I hadn't fished them much until uh, last summer and my god I'm glad I found out about them um, because I've already caught a lot of good fish on them so please go try this out if you haven't already everything will be linked in the description below I've said that enough but go check out that stuff I just don't want you guys to get the wrong jig head that's why I keep saying everything's in the description below I don't I don't want you guys to put this thing on too small of a hook to where you can't hook up on any fish but I hope you enjoyed today's video and as always go take someone fishing